guys, Miranda, and today I'm here to react to episode 4 of Emily in Paris. Yeah, I feel like there's not much to say after the last episode. It kind of just ended how it ended, and I am trucking through the series. I'm really not that great at binge watching, I've said this before, but I'm trying my diddly darn best to actually binge watch this show and get through it as fast as I can simply because, one, it's quick, but then also there's so many other shows coming out in October that I'm really looking forward to checking out. and faster I get this done, the faster I can get ready for those and potentially check them out, so. Did she just say I can the flowers? She didn't say. Well, there's one French word I know from everyone being around her. It's mon. <gasps> Who is this? A beautiful woman. Oh, they match her coat and everything. <laughs> We've noticed. We've noticed, girl. And you're beautiful. Let's not forget that. She looks like she could walk Walk off Paris Fashion Week. Camille. Oh, it's such a French name, too. Yeah, and they hate it. Exactly. She knows. Oh, they went and got coffee together. She makes friends so easily, aside from the people that work with her. Like, I, I wish I had that. I feel like that's what someone who says they're from, like, who is from Paris knows, but it does take a while to adjust to any. Dang, what are the odds of that? She's so sweet, too. She meets the sweetest girls ever. Like, her and Mindy together. Again, I wish I knew how long. Oh! <laughs> Aw, she's so sweet. She literally, this woman meets the coolest other women. I do want to know, like, how long she's been there for, because I think that'll give me a bigger timeline of, like, if she should have learned French by now, you know? She, all her selfies look the same. It's just her posing like this, and then with, like, something in her hand or near her. And it's just, like... In this day and age, with influencers and social media, that would not get you 10.4. Like, I don't know who actually takes the pictures for her, but I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude, but I'm going to say it. They look like they look like a middle-aged mom's pictures, just like the posing and stuff. I also want to know specifically who's following her, because like I feel like people in Paris would be like, I see this every day, whatever. Ugh, can you imagine bringing all those up six flights of stairs? No thank you, sir. Ew! Oh, it ruined all her stuff! Um, sir, don't look down on peanut butter. I like you, but peanut butter is delicious. Look at him with the dish towel over his shoulder. Oh, what a man. What a man. What a mighty fine man. I feel like the way they act like they say things sometimes, like, that did not, like, it sounded like a euphemism, but, like, only if, like, you make it a euphemism. Like, she didn't need to say it like that. Like, she could have just been like, and I didn't like my meat to be cut. Is that so bad? Is that so bad, really? How do you wash it, then? What? That sounds disgusting. I love you, dude, but that sounds disgusting. How is that sanitary? And he's a chef? Do they have a dishwasher in his kitchen that he works in? Oh gosh, she actually went some of the stuff she does, I'm like, girl, just leave it alone. Like, you don't need to go in there. Also, Antoine plays a way bigger part than I thought. I thought he was just gonna be like one off in like one or two episodes. This is the third episode with him. What? Did she like just come up with this idea off the top of her head? Because I don't understand it. Oh, Sylvie, you don't like her, but you will only go with her ideas if it saves your butt. Just say you're both from Chicago. Like, I don't know why that she was like, what am I going to say? You got them for her? <laughs> the way she said happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> and then run out of that room. Well, you did in there. So, like, what do you want us to do? <gasps> oh, she did see it. I thought she hit it. Why would you say his name? Now if they ever meet, this is going to cause such issues. Oh my gosh, she is digging her hole deeper and deeper. <laughs> These two are my favorite pair. Because they just seem so unlikely and they're just always gossiping together. I don't think that's true. Yeah, that seems more like it. He looks her age. What are they talking about? Young, hot client. Was this like 20 years ago or something when she was first starting now? These rules, man are just so hard to follow. She's, I hope this does not end with her starting something with him ever, no matter what season it is. If this has 50 seasons, that would be so bad. 
Well, look at Minnie's outfit again. I feel like I'm always like so like gushing about them, but they are just amazing. Like Emily's outfits are one thing, Minnie's are on another level. And I'm always like, how does she afford them? Oh, Camille's so pretty. <laughs> she just goes in there. I give her credit. Like she just really, even if she doesn't know, she just goes in there. So pretty. Every time I see it, I'm like, oh. I wonder if that's a real, it must be a real place, the interior they use, the exterior, I mean, for her design place that she works at. Oh, that's a cute outfit. The thing that's cute about her outfits is they're cute, most of them, and then at the same time, they look like something a 15-year-old girl would wear. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're cute in that way. They're cute in that I could see Millie Bobby Brown wearing them. Gosh, right in front of your, what's the, male? there's no male word for a mistress, is there? How sexist. You can't say that. Get get out. Is she even trying to sell this? I feel like she's being so rude. Can we not fight in front of the client, please? She continually tries to throw under the bus, and I'm just like, please, please, let her have one. She's trying to help you. Yeah, you kind of made it pretty obvious that it was you. Whenever someone walks in, it's like, oh, you forgot, but it was your idea. That never happens in real life. Oh gosh, here he's gonna go into like, what do, what do you mean inappropriate? This is how the French say we love you. I think you bought it picturing her in it and that's creepy. What is with this man? He twists everything into like, I am a male, but they want you to feel, why am I making him Russian? I want you to feel powerful and beautiful. I knew he was gonna flip it like this, where he was like, oh, you know, like here, this is just how we say we appreciate people. It's not how you do it. I knew he was gonna say stuff like that, like, this is how we do it here. And I just feel like, stick to your morals, please. Please, Emily, do not hook up with this man. Even if it's just a kiss, I will throw my laptop. Just kidding, I won't because I can't afford to replace it. Mentally, though, I'll throw my laptop. Yep, yeah, yeah, we, we, we indeed. Oh, no. It's like Alexis Rose all over again. You reverse the days. No, you reverse the days. You use military time. No, you use the wrong time. I, that reminds me so much of Alexis when she thought she was leaving and she had the month wrong because she booked it wrong. Oh, it all comes back to Shit's Creek. What is she doing? Looking for an empty, like, he's not just gonna let you waltz in there. Oh, no. I was, I had a feeling she was gonna call him and then if Sylvie says anything to him about the lingerie, like, that lie's gonna come out and it's gonna, oh, it's gonna be a mess. Jeez, this man does so much for her, and what does she do for him? Like, let's look at what he, he has let her use his shower. He's made her an omelet. He brought all his boxes up. He talked to the plumber for her. Like, the man has done so much for her, and she's still just like, can you, can you do this? Like, not, oh my gosh. Is Sylvie trying to get with Randy, or is she just trying to make Antoine jealous? That's what I can't figure out. I can't believe that worked. Within one episode, she found this guy, came up with this idea, and got it sold all in one. I mean, that is, that's impressive. That's a plot for you, my folks. No dragging this out for an hour for 13 episodes. We're getting it done. Don't say his name. Don't say his name. She said the name. Sylvie's gonna know. I knew she was gonna remember. Oh. But now that she's seen him and seen how cute he is, she's gonna be like, no way Emily's interested in Antoine when she's got that guy. So maybe this was a good thing. Yeah, it was above and beyond, more so than I would ever do. Ah, oh, she's still there. I thought she got away with it, but now she's gonna say something right now. <laughs> He's like, what? Oh gosh, you gotta explain that. He's like, it, it. <laughs> poor Gabriel. This night has been like, Gabriel. I feel like I say his name wrong, but I'll figure it out one of these days. Guys, let's look out for the pig flying because what the heck? I feel like she just likes her now because she knows that she's not a threat to Antoine. Like, she's got her own guy, even though she doesn't really have her own guy. But, like, Sylvie's like, oh, now I can rest and relax. Says the woman who's having an affair with the married man who is the husband of her friend. Okay, we'll take love advice from you. Already? It's only episode four. Oh, they look so good together, too. Mm. 
Wait, she's not staying? She's just kissing him and running? She doesn't even want to, like, explain the lingerie thing? Oh, they just make out, I guess, for everyone to see. <gasps> yeah, you owe her big thank you for that. The... Uh, he definitely kissed her back, so, like, this is more on him than her. She didn't know he had a girlfriend. Ugh, why'd they have to do a cheating storyline? I hate those storylines. They couldn't just make him single. Smaller than you know. Now she's kissed both of them in this couple in less than 30 minutes. That's, that's amazing. Why didn't he kiss her back if he has a girlfriend? I hate when they do that stupid storyline. Like, it just makes... Me and Camille seems awesome. So like I'm not gonna root for like like I like Emily and get and him together. I've said that since the beginning. I think they're really cute. But like this episode also showed me that he does like a lot for her and she doesn't really ever reciprocate. Like he just had a whole ass meal for her, 15 minutes before they were gonna close, and pulled it off flawlessly. And what has she done for him besides kiss his girlfriend? <laughs> I really like Camille honestly. And like sometimes like I'm glad that we've moved past the whole stupid storyline of like you know when like someone has a girlfriend that you like but like the girlfriend's like a biatch and you can tell that like he obviously deserves better blah 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 and it was always like woman against woman i'm glad we've at least moved past that because camille seems freaking awesome and a lot of shows when you see a storyline like this the girl is really awesome and nice but it still also sucks because it's like what's this man doing that he can't keep it in his pants like obviously you know he's gonna kiss her but he could have pulled away and been like I have a girlfriend, sorry, and like Camille again seems awesome, so now I'm gonna be sad for her when she loses out on him, if she does. I still also feel like after this episode they're kind of leaning toward maybe actually setting up something with Emily and Antoine, which will make me gag, honestly. I feel like it's not gonna happen right away, but it will be something maybe like a longer thing if this gets more seasons and stuff, because I can just see like the way she was reacting to stuff was like very, I don't know, and then like how he would explain stuff and be like, oh don't take it so personally, it's just how we do it over here, blah blah blah. But other than that, I really enjoyed the episode. I love Camille, I love her, I could see a whole show about her, forget Emily, give me Camille, she seems awesome. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down in the comments, also make sure to give a thumbs up if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys next time, bye!